we need to be familiar with Venn diagrams and how to analyze the cardinalities or number of elements in each region of a Venn diagram. In this diagram, the numerals represent the cardinalities, the number of elements in each region. Question A says, find the cardinality of the set A intersect B. Well, the number of elements in A intersect B refers to the region of overlap. Intersect means overlap. And there are four elements indicated to be in that region. In part B, we need the union. The number of elements in the union of A and B means any of the elements in any of the regions that are in A or B or both. So that would mean that we need the region that has six, the region that has four, and the region that has two. Six plus four plus two is 12. So the total number of elements or cardinality of A union B is 12. That Venn diagram can be used to demonstrate what's known as the cardinal number formula, which says that the number of elements or cardinality of A union B is the number of elements in A plus the number in B minus any overlap because we've overcounted it, we've counted it twice. So looking back at that Venn diagram, let's observe that this equation does hold in this particular example. The number in A union B we've already said is six plus four plus two, which is 12. That's the left side of the cardinal number formula. Now let's look at the right side. So on the right side, we take the number in A, which is 10 because six and four, and we add to it the number in B, which is six because of four and two. And then we subtract from it four, why? Because the four has been overcounted. It's been counted twice as part of the 10 in A and as part of the six in B. So we're going to undo that overcounting by subtracting it off once. 10 plus six minus four is 12. The cardinal number formula on the left side equaled 12 and on the right side equaled 12. This is just one example, but this formula always holds true. So there will be some problems in your My Math Lab homework where you're asked something like this. Find the cardinality of A if the cardinality of A union B is 78, the cardinality of A intersect B is 21, and the cardinality of B is 36. One way to work this problem is just to plug into the cardinal number formula, which relates the number of elements in the union with the number of elements in the intersection. The number of elements in A union B is the number in A plus the number in B minus the number in the intersection or overlap. So let's fill in what we know. We know that A union B has 78 elements. We know we're looking for n of a, so we're gonna leave that the same. We're, we know that the number of elements in b is 36, and the number of elements in the intersection is 21. In other words, 78 equals n of a plus 15. So what do you have to add to 15 to get 78? Let's subtract and find out. So the number of elements in a, or cardinality of a, is 63, using the cardinal number formula. Another way to work this problem is to draw a Venn diagram and fill in the facts that we know. In order to talk about the regions of the Venn diagram, I've labeled them with Roman numerals 1, 2, 3, and 4. By the way, all two set Venn diagrams have four regions. Notice that A union B is describing regions 1, 2, and 3. A intersect B is just describing region 2 and B is describing regions two and three. Whenever you're answering a question involving cardinalities like this one, it's best to start with any facts that describe a single region. So you can fill those facts in on your diagram. So in this case, I'm going to denote that the intersection region two has 21 elements. Once we've used that fact, we move on to another fact. We look for one that involves only two regions, especially one that has the region two included in it. Like for example here, the number in B is 36, is referring to regions two and three. So if there are 36 elements in regions two and three, and we know region two had 21, then we can subtract to find region three. We do this a lot in solving these problems. We subtract the whole minus the part that we already know to get the other part. So 36 minus 21 is going to give us 15 that are in just region three. 
we've used that fact, and we only have one fact left. The number in A union B is 78. That includes region 2, which has 21, and it includes region 3, which has 15. Or in other words, altogether, it includes 36 that we've already taken to, into account. The only region that's left unaccounted for in A union B is region 1. So in order to get region 1, we're going to take the fact that there are 78 total in the union of A and B and subtract from it the 36 that we've already accounted for to get region 1. 78 minus 36 is going to give us 42. And the question was asking us how many are in set A. Well, the number in A is going to be the number in region 1, which is 42, plus the number in region 2, which is 21, which adds up to 63, which is the same result we got using the cardinal number formula. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it. That helps other students to find the video.